So today, uh, Vivek and I will be covering one of the topics which has also evolved a lot since the beginning, and that is the developer tool landscape for UI5. So a quick round of introduction. My name is Nitish, and I'm, I have an experience of around 10 years uh, with UI5, started back in 2012. And since then, I've been working on different JavaScript frameworks, building a different kind of applications. Joining me is Vivek, who is a UI architect at Integrator with extensive experience on uh, JavaScript and UI5 frameworks as well, and an active contribution to the UI5 community. So a quick look at the agenda. Uh, we'll be beginning by looking at the evolution of front-end developer tools. Uh, then move on to some basics of front-end debugging with Chrome developer tools, and then specialist uh, UI5 uh, tools like UI5 Diagnostics and UI5 Inspector. Look at all of them in a live demo, and then come back to summarize our learnings. So, uh, talking about the evolution. So, as I said, it's been 10 years for me to start my development journey. So we just thought of doing a 10 year challenge and see how this landscape has really changed. Let's start by the first and foremost, our friend browser. If you were like me developing things in 2012 and working on Internet Explorer 7 and 8, debugging was a pain. You had to resort to either console.log, debugger and definitely a lot of patience. Things have evolved a lot since then. Uh, we paid homage to Internet Explorer last month, and a lot of our browsers right now come up with extensive browser developer tools that not just provide uh, debugging capabilities, but memory analysis, visual coverage of your code base, and even inspecting animations, forget the UI. Uh, a lot has changed on the developer tool landscape too. Uh, back then, running a UI5 application, which was a JavaScript application, meant installing Java Runtime, Eclipse, a lot of plugins. Uh, to run it, you needed Tomcat, basically run the Tomcat, grab a cup of coffee, wait for it to really load. Uh, in today's keynote, we saw that things have drastically changed. We have live reloads, a ton of uh, different IDs to choose from. If you like uh, VS Code, then you have multiple plugins assisting you. If you like Cloud IDs, you have even options like Web ID and Business Application Studio these days. So forget installing, you can just go to the cloud and develop those brilliant applications. But the frameworks have changed too. Uh, jQuery and Dollar meant a lot of things back then. So if you had to do anything meaningful, like making an API request or even logging, you had to kind of go jQuery or SAP log debug. And uh, that made the overall bundling of UI5 very heavy and very big. Uh, since then, the frameworks and native JavaScript itself has evolved a lot. Uh, we have a lot of native capabilities, uh, tree shaking, minified files, and optimized builds making things much simpler. And even the quality landscape has changed. Uh, I mean, back then, uh, if you were doing talking about static code checks, it generally meant another developer looking at your code base on their own seat statically. Uh, only if you were part of a big corporation like SAP, you had the privilege of Jenkins and Maven, and you could do some elaborate setup to automate it centrally. Right now, all these static code checks ranging from ESLint and multiple other things are part of your development ID. If you're working with Visual Studio Code, uh, not just static code checks, you even have uh, Copilot and other things assisting you in your development now. Community-driven solutions like WDI5 have come a long way, making the testing landscape much easier and uh, available to everyone. And we even have cloud solutions like Sentry, so that allow you to analyze errors, not just on your machine, but across the users. So definitely things have evolved a lot. So let's look at debugging of our front-end applications now. So when we talk about browser, basically the JavaScript is something which we have to talk about because most of the JavaScript apps runs in browser, all the front-end applications in runs in browser and the 
uh, one of the beautiful thing with browsers is developer tool so developer tools provide lot of options and advantages for a javascript developer starting from element to performance insights cache and memory console everything you can see how your how your browser is looking at your code no matter how you write the code browser will understand it in a different way you might be using the ufi controls and writing code but ufi uh, browser will convert it to html and we can see the entire uh, dom node dom the entire dom structure in element tab and in console it will be like a terminal inside a browser for you so you can look at the errors look at the information messages you can also uh, run, you know write some code at run time so that you can try out uh, things at console and then move your code to uh, your uh, code editor or uh, project then you have a sources which acts like a file explorer uh, in your browser for your application you will be able to see all the files which are loaded you will be able to debug them and you will be able to edit also in some cases so it provides a lot of power uh, there as well and the network tools where you will be able to see all the api interactions how your ui application is connecting with uh, how it is interacting with your back end services and uh, uh, and also local storage session storage it, there are tons of uh, tons of options which helps you for the better debugging and understanding your application since uh, we are talking about ui5 here uh, ui5 when web components were not a big thing uh, at a time at the time ui5 had controls reusable controls which we can use in our applications and we don't need to completely reinvent the life cycle every time for example if i want a table i just have to write table and all the prebuilt like filtering sorting everything will come up just with a control i don't need to write the entire html and write entire functionalities uh, of the table so when these things are introduced with these things since ui5 is also called as a swiss knife for developing the enterprise application it provides everything from beginning to end starting from a framework to uh, framework to organize your code to debug to test application and accessibility internationalization it provides almost everything so one of the thing that comes with ui5 framework is diagnostic tool where you can uh, it will enhance your uh, de developer experience with debugging using this tool and the other one uh, other uh, this is an inbuilt tool which comes with ufi and the other one which you can install and enhance further your developer uh, developer tool is ufi insider so as the browser became famous also the chrome uh, browser extension also become a lot famous and these are the tiny extensions which will enhance the existing behavior of your browser so we will talk about this ufi inspector uh, extension as well and we can see what are the different uh, options it provides for us in our live demo i will i will start sharing my screen and i will just go through these uh, topics so unlike other live demos uh, today we are not worried about a lot of uh, issues coming up because we are at debug and if something really fails hopefully we will be able to debug that uh, as well we will just call it as a scenario just that we just planned so uh, so we have listed down some uh, topics which we will uh, use in everyday developer life like uh some uh, basic basically like analyzing our o data request understanding our control tree debugging or uh, checking our application with different wifi versions or playing around with the developer tools such as conditional breakpoints or watch and live expressions and other uh, other utilities so to start with uh, so this is one of the wifi applications that we created and here uh, since uh, let's start with how we can open the diagnostic tool so to open it there are there are key binding control shift alt and p that will open up uh, this technical information dialog in your ufi application any ufi application you can use this uh, key binding control shift alt p and you can open up this dialog and this is also another way to check whether your uh, whether your application is using ufi or not uh, so this information is uh, and here in the technical information dialog you will have an option to open diagnostic so this will open up another window which will have the entire uh, debugging debugging tool starting with technical information we might be using uh, open ufi or sap ufi so this one will tell us which uh, which distribution we are using and which is the current uh, current version which is loaded with this application and also uh, what are the themes that are being used and what is the language support and what are the libraries loaded all those technical information about the application will be displayed in this technical information and then we have a control tree which will be which i personally use a lot with any ufi application 
so when you write your uh, when you use your uefi controls usually in elements tab you will be able to see a lot different things for example if i go to elements tab here and and if i want to expand all the nodes i can just do alt alt click that will expand everything at once uh, once so that you don't need to go one by one here you can see that many things which are convert, converted our uefi application into html dom this will be a little different than what we have written in our xml file or jsp so but the ui tree here what we see in diagnostic tool this is exactly what we might have written in uh, our xml file so here we can go through each and every control and we we can understand what are all the properties um, available for that control and how what are the default values that are maintained here if you want to select any specific one for example i have a button here and i want to uh, analyze this further i can always hold control shift alt and click on this one then that specific control will be highlighted in the dom, uh, in the control tree then i will be able to see all the values and i can also play along with properties such as you know disabling enabling or the changing the text itself and also i can if your uh, if your control is bound to some uh, if, if it is bound to some model those information also i can see it in binding info where you will be able to see which is the which is the data model uh, what is what is the name of the data model what kind of data model it is and what is the absolute path and what are the paths and which property of your control is bound to that model uh these are some of the options that you can get with control tree and with the debugging you have you might want to check you have a application in your production and you want to check whether your application will run if if you upgrade it to next version or the latest version then you can always go to this debugging section and here you can always switch to uh you, whether open your ff server or sap server or if you have a cdn you can always go to this one and you can provide your cdn just like how i'm entering here and after this you just have to activate and reboot it then your application will load with this version for one time uh, from the second load again it will be back to your uh, regular ufi version so the other tool that is provided for ufi is ufi inspector tool this is a chrome extension which you can download from uh, your chrome web store and as soon as you add this uh, just like any other extension you can install it and once you add it in your developer tool you will have a new section called ui file and this one will have four tabs uh, such as control inspector application information core data request and element registry so here some unique things are like this application information is very same as what diagnostic tool was displaying and here the control inspector you can relate it with uh, the control tree what was coming in uh, diagnostic tool and here one of the additional thing that you can see is uh, for properties you will also get drop downs in diagnostic tool it was a free text but here you will get all the possible values that you can fill for these properties and another uh, nice thing about this one is the o data request tab which is newly introduced so what it does is it will filter out all the, like you might see that uh, currently this application is having lot of uh, network request but this one is showing only the uh, filtered one where uh, where it will show only whatever is relevant for us uh, as a ufi developer it is showing the metadata call and it is showing the ufi views and it is showing count calls and batch calls this batch call is something which i am uh, very much interested in for example here uh, if there is a batch call and if there are multiple calls it will it will all be listed un under a project and for example there is a label set uh, api call and now we can see here everything is Reformatted here, unlike the regular network tab. If I have to show the difference, I can. I will just search for this one batch call. And now, if you see here, it is not at all pre-formatted, and we need to copy copy this one and paste it somewhere else and format it. But this is already pre-formatted with this uh, UFI inspector tool. So these are some of the new things which are introduced in UFI inspector as well. And addition to this, there are tons of uh, tons of uh, features and options available with ufi tooling and diagnostic tool and we listed some of them and you can go through this one this url will be public you can go through them and we'll try to add more information for each of these concepts so that you can uh, explore further and also you can always talk to community if you have any questions or need any help thank you vivek so just uh, coming back to seeing the things in action uh, we covered uh, various different uh, 
tools uh, ranging from browser developer tools, diagnostic and inspector. Each of them are very good for specific use cases. As a recommendation, uh, you should always go for browser developer tools to begin with. It's like the first aid solution for all your front end problems. And then if you're looking at some specific UI5 uh, diagnosis, you can either pick from diagnostic or the newly recommended approach, which would be the UI5 inspector. Uh, UI5 inspector is an active development. So you can see it on uh, GitHub as an active contribution. Uh, a big thanks to Jordan, who was helping us as well, an active contributor to improving the UFF inspector here. So you can go ahead, download it from Chrome store and start exploring your own applications. Sometimes that's not all. So if you still need help, uh, you can always reach out to Google and Stack Overflow, but there are definitely other ways. Uh, and one of them is the UFF community. Uh, as you all know, OpenUI 5 is available on GitHub and it is very active. So if you encounter some issues with the frameworks, generally it is a good way to reach out and raise issues there. Uh, you will possibly get a very fast reply and response. Uh, alternately, we have SAP community forums like uh, SAP answers and blogs. So filter out with UI 5 tag and look out your queries and definitely uh, provide as many details as you can uh, to make this uh, questions and answers way faster. And generally you should just get a good night of sleep uh, and tomorrow mostly the solutions will be there with you. So that's it from us. Uh, thank you. And I think we'll just open up for questions. All right. Yeah, Google is your friend and sleep is the best debugger. That's right. Yeah. All right. Um, we have a question from the broadcasting tool, and that is, is the UI5 inspector uh, or will it be available to the Opera GX browser? I hope Nitish, you can hear me. I guess uh, so. Yes. So as of now, I think uh, it's primarily available for uh, the Chrome, Chromium based uh, engines. Uh, we've tried it out on Edge as well as on uh, Chrome, and it works pretty well. I think uh, Vivek, I'm not sure. I've not really tried on that browser as such. Yeah, same for me. Like never tried with that browser, and uh, uh, I don't think so. Like currently, it might not work. All right, fair enough. And do we have any questions on site? Someone sitting in the room here, raise your hands if you do have a question. All right, we have another one from the broadcasting tool. The UI5 inspector failed to work with custom controls, giving an error in a browser console. Are there any specific techniques for development of custom controls to avoid crashing it? So uh, one of the things to note definitely is that the UI5 inspector is a very actively developed solution. So there was a new release uh, pushed in, I think uh, just a couple of days back. So in case you're encountering some bugs here and there, uh, it's possible that they get fixed in a very soon time. But with respect to, I think the guidelines on uh, custom control development, definitely uh, I think the standards recommended uh, are available and should be there. All right, uh, But in any case, the recommendation would be just raise this on uh, the community and you should mostly see an answer very, very soon. Cool, thanks a lot. We have any questions in the audience now? All right, that's cool. So thanks a lot, Nitish and Vivek. Thank you.